Hello and welcome to the show. Rihanna is known for being pretty vocal in regards to her political beliefs, and her latest Vogue interview was no exception. The star graced the cover of the magazine's November issue and she did not hold back for her sit-down chat. She talked about a series of subjects, but perhaps her most controversial opinion had to do with the United States president. When talking about mass shootings in America, Rihanna pointed out the difference in labeling the individuals behind said tragedies, explaining that white shooters were often deemed mentally ill, while black or brown shooters were instantly dubbed terrorists. She discussed the recent tragedies that took place in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio, claiming the president's focus was on mental health rather than on stricter gun control laws. This is just not normal. That should never ever be normal and the fact that it's classified as something different because of the color of their skin, it's a slap in the face, it's completely racist, the 31 year old said. Put an Arab man with that same weapon in that same Walmart and there is no way that Trump would sit there and address it publicly as a mental health problem. The most mentally ill human being in America right now seems to be the president, she added. As reported by Daily Mail, Rihanna is the furthest from a Trump supporter and has previously asked him to stop using her music in his rallies. She also touched upon the subject of immigration, stating that the treatment of illegal immigrants and refugee seekers happening at the US-Mexico border left her sick to my stomach. The entrepreneur herself is an immigrant from Barbados who arrived in America in her teens, so it is no surprise that this particular issue hits close to home. However, Riri remains optimistic and believes that these dark times have forced people to speak out and try and do better at an individual and local level. Indeed, her Vogue interview wasn't all about politics. She also discussed two other subjects that are very much of interest to her hardcore fan base. The songstress mentioned her Saudi Arabian boyfriend Hassan Jamil, who she has been with for a few years now, claiming the romance is going really well and that she is happy. Furthermore, she's hinted at her upcoming album, which will be a reggae-inspired as a homage to her Caribbean roots. She also admitted that she knows her fans are feeling increasingly frustrated because she hasn't put out music since Anti, but explained she simply doesn't have the luxury to lock herself in the studio now that she is so busy with all her beauty and fashion ventures. Thank you.